The Journal News, that's a newspaper serving the lower Hudson Valley of New York, they published an article saying that some local residents would like to know who in their neighborhood owns guns. They also took it upon themselves to create an interactive map compiling publicly available information with the names and home addresses of gun permit owners in Westchester and Rockland counties. Yeah, look, this is a, a gratuitous slap in the face uh, by the Journal News. People have to understand that uh, while this information is, is publicly accessible, uh, we're talking about people who obeyed the law. Uh, tens of thousands of, of people in the state of New York uh, many uh, victims of domestic violence who got a permit to protect themselves, uh, some of which have young families. Uh, we have many uh, retired law enforcement officials uh, who live all throughout the Hudson Valley. Uh, our law enforcement officials, many NYPD retirees, have put the worst of the worst uh, behind bars. We're talking about rapists, we're talking about gang members, we're talking about murderers. <clears throat> and now the Journal News has gone out of their way uh, to create an interactive map, <clears throat> the, the uh, legislation and laws uh, governing the, the freedom of information requests, some of these things go back uh, decades, and they certainly didn't weren't created in a time of Google Earth, Google Maps. And this interactive map can now be used by those who seek to, to you know, hurt uh, people and has created a public safety nightmare. They didn't think through. They didn't think through. They did, they did this as a, as a, just a, a slap in the face as if to say, okay, well, all gun owners are bad people. Well, guess what, Journal News? Get out of your damn ivory tower. <laughs> We've got these permits. Are Americans, New Yorkers, obeying the law, the best and the, and, and the brightest, are our first responders, cops, firemen, victims of domestic violence, moms, dads, and now you're exposing these very private people in a public way. And you know what? Rightfully so. They're upset. Why did they not create a list of all these counties of people with a criminal background of illegal firearm purchases, over 95% of crimes committed uh, with firearms or with illegal firearms. That would have been a focus that would have, that would have been a laser-like precision focus that would have been a constructive portion of, of the argument. And uh, I, I do not appreciate this. Forget it from the Second Amendment uh, point of view. I believe that there is a right uh, to privacy. And, and it must be re and said again and again, these people have done everything they can to obey the law, that they've done it uh, the, the right way, and they should not be categorized in, in the way that, that they are.